game seven for a chance to go to the Stanley Cup final from Pittsburgh. The defending champions 0-7 in game sevens at home after losing game six on the road. While the Senators have never won a game seven in franchise history, they are 0-5 all time. Mid-second, no score. Puck comes to center, Chris Kunitz. Connor Sheary on his backhand to Kunitz. He scores! Timing is everything. That's his first since early February, and it's 1-0 Pittsburgh. What a play by Connor Sheary, who's back in the lineup after missing two games. Kunitz with his first of the postseason. Pens lead 1-0. Just 20 seconds later, though, Ottawa looking for an answer. Eric Carlson feeds Mark Stone, and he snaps it upstairs past Matt Murray. Have another look. Stone hangs back just enough to stay on side at the line. We're tied at one. Fans back at the Sens house in Ottawa going absolutely crazy. Final seconds of the period. Evgeny Malkin tries to go around Mark Mathot. Bad idea. Mathot with the hip check sends Gino crashing into the boards. So we're tied at one through two. So here is the Prince of Wales trophy. It's in the building and it's getting polished up. It's ready to go. Five minutes into the third. Carlson's shot is blocked by Brian Rust. He takes off the other way, drives the net. Carlson gets back to hack him just enough. And Anderson is able to cover up this loose puck in the crease. What a chance. Carlson breathes a sigh of relief. Then mid-frame, Carter Rowney takes a run at Mark Stone. Appears to clip his knee, but no penalty called. Back on the bench, Stone is irate, giving it to the referees. Then a few minutes later, Dion Phaneuf on an icing play gets called for interference on Phil Kessel. Guy Boucher, how do you feel? That is a look of death. The Pens head to the power play where Kessel feeds Justin Schultz, and Schultz is going to rip it off the post and in. He hasn't played since leaving game two with an upper body injury, but he comes up clutch giving the Pens a 2-1 lead. But three minutes later, Ottawa looks to answer back. Carlson waits, takes, that came off the boards, they score! Ryan Dezingle has tied the game 2-2. Carlson's blast off the post, Dezingle, Johnny on the spot. The comeback kids do it again, we're tied at two. Four minutes to go, Kessel's shot deflects off Malkin's skate, off the post, Anderson sprawling out, somehow able to keep this puck going in the net so for the 41st time in NHL history game seven goes to overtime five minutes in Ottawa gets caught on a bad line change Kessel moves in all alone he's got the game on his stick looking for the far corner but he can't hit the net Kessel knows he missed one there but he would have another chance with 3.30 to go he walks around Stone Anderson makes the save the rebound comes off Kessel off the crossbar then off the top of the net and stays out. The Pens bench thought it was over. Craig Anderson saying thank you very much as we go to double overtime, then just over five minutes in. Cosby turns away from the check of Weidman to Kunitz, he fires, he scores! Chris Kunitz scored his second goal of the game. And for the second straight year, and the sixth time, the Pittsburgh Penguins will play for the Stanley Cup. Kunitz with the knuckle puck. It fools Anderson, and the Pens win 3-2 in double overtime. They're off to their second straight Stanley Cup final where they will meet the Nashville Predators. 37-year-old Chris Kunitz becomes the oldest player in NHL history to score a Game 7 OT winner, while the Pens will try to become the first repeat Stanley Cup champions since the Red Wings back in 97 and 98.